This is Elias walking you through the steps of uh, examining the lens and the cornea through Pekanji images. And uh, what we basically do for this is you have to see what the reflecting surfaces of the eye are and you are shining a light which is then reflecting back and you are observing that. So this is a cornea with the anterior surface and the posterior surface and then you have the iris and then you have the lens with an anterior surface and the posterior surface. So if you shine a light it reflects back from the anterior surface of the cornea. It also reflects back from the posterior surface of the cornea. So this first is Pekanji image 1, the second is Pekanji image 2, and then there are lights which are crossing the cornea, passing through the anterior chamber, and then being reflected from the anterior surface of the lens, which is Pekanji image 3, and then light which is passing through the cornea, anterior chamber, the lens, and then reflecting back from the posterior aspect of the lens, which is Pekanji image 4. Now, what you need to know is that the nodal point of the eye is in the posterior side of the lens. So any light which is being reflected from anterior to the nodal point is going to move in the direction of when you're moving the light, whereas any light coming from posterior to the nodal point is going to move against the direction of in which you are moving the light. Now, the other thing that you need to know is, although these are four reflections which are coming and four images forming, Pekanji image one and two are superimposed on each other, so you do not usually appreciate them when you're doing this test. So in an aphakic patient, you have no lens behind the iris. So the reflecting surfaces here then would be the anterior surface of the cornea and the posterior surface of the cornea. So you would only see Pekanji image 1 and Pekanji image 2. Now, as I had already mentioned, these two Pekanji images are going to be superimposed, so you'd be able to just see one reflection, and when you move the light from one side to another, you will not see the fourth Pekanji image, which is going to, which is supposed to go in the opposite direction from the direction of the movement of the light. So just two images and a very black pupil, and that is why it is called a jet black pupil, because there is absence of third and fourth Pekanji images. To do this, you will sit in front of the patient, but will be slightly on the side so that the patient can overlook your shoulder and he's focusing on a distant target. And when, and when you are observing the Pekanji images of the right eye, you will hold the torch in your left hand and then you will shine the light from the side and then shift the light from one side to another while focusing on the Pekanji images. And once again, when you are doing, uh, looking at Pekanji images in the left eye, you will hold the torch in your right hand and then move it from one side to another. So if you look in the picture, you will see Pekanji image one, which is being reflected from the anterior surface of the cornea. The Pekanji image two will also be reflecting from the posterior surface of the cornea, but will be superimposed on the Pekanji image one. Then you see Pekanji image three, which is slightly fainter than the first two Pekanji images, and then a smaller reflection, which is Pekanji image four. And when you, in a fake patient, when you move the light from side to side, you will see uh, in this picture, you are seeing two images moving in the uh, along the movement of the light, and uh, one is a brighter image, the other is a slightly fainter image, and then so you see these two images moving in along the side of the movement of the light, whereas a fainter, smaller image 
is moving in the opposite direction. So if you're moving the light from right to left, you will see two images moving from right to left, whereas the third image that you are seeing, the smaller image and the fainter image is moving from left to right. So in the opposite direction of the movement of the torch, which is the fourth image. So the trick in looking at Prakanji images is to focus on the fainter, smaller reflection, which is Prakanji image four, and you focus on that image moving in the opposite direction from the movement of the light. Now, when you are looking at a pseudo fake image, you will see that the first image, Pekanji image one, is very sharply defined and bright. Pekanji image two, which is coming from the posterior surface of the cornea, is superimposed on Pekanji image one. Pekanji image three is fainter and less defined, whereas Pekanji image four in a pseudo fake eye is sharper than the Pekanji image four seen in a fake eye. And when you move the light from one side to another, you will see in this uh, uh, video, you are seeing just two images, one moving in the same direction as the movement of the light, while the other is moving in the opposite direction. But the one moving in the opposite direction is slightly sharper. Once wow. you change the angle of the light, you start seeing three images. One image is sharper, uh, whereas the second image is less defined and uh, bigger and both these images are moving in the direction of the light whereas the third image which is sharper than the uh, than the second image is moving in the direction which is opposite to the direction of the movement of the light and that is Prakanji image 4. Once again the main focus is on the third image which is moving away from the direction of the light. Now in a fake equation, because there is no reflecting surfaces of the lens, you will see Pekanji image one, which is coming from the anterior surface of the cornea and Pekanji image two, which is also coming from the anterior, uh, posterior surface of the cornea. And when you shine the light from one side to another, you do not see the light reflection, which is moving in the opposite direction and uh, you just see a light reflection which is moving in the direction of the movement of the light. So when you do not see that fourth image which is moving in the opposite direction, you call this, this is in an aphakic patient and you call this a jet black pupil. Thank you.